to scare my little brother Clark. Monster is so much fun! Uncle Bray! Do you know what else we can do with these blankets? What? What? Who wants to build a blanket board? Me! <laughs> Thanks Bye. for playing today! Performing the story of Little Miss Muffet. I will be playing the role of Little Miss Muffet. I'm going to be the spider. I'm going to be the toughet. Uh, don't be so sad about it. You're a very important part of the story. I want it to be Blanket Monster. But Blanket Monster isn't in the story, and we really need someone to be the toughet. Fine. Well, Without further ado, places everybody! <sighs> Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds away. Yum! Tastes like vanilla yogurt. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. Hi -ya! Ah! And frightened Miss Muffet away. Thanks, spider. No problem. Want some curds and whey? Now pass. Time to sing! Who would like to pick the first song? Ooh, me, me! Okay, Mary, what song should we sing first? Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That's a great choice! Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high This song is boring. Let's play Blanket Monster. Like a diamond in the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Johnny! I'm Blanket Monster. Blanket Monster, you interrupted our song. Would you like to sing with us? How about you choose a song? I know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. That's a fun one. Let's try it. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried the boom. Papa, Johnny's messing up our songs. Johnny, right now, it's time to sing. 
Blanket Monster doesn't want to sin. He wants to scare people. Maybe we could sing a scary song. A song about Blanket Monster? There's no song about Blanket Monster. Oh, Blanket Monster. Would you like to hear your very own song? Okay. The monster on the bus goes Ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga The monster on the bus goes Ooga booga all through the town Ooga booga! Way to go, Blanket Monster! I like this song! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Jesse and these are my boys, the Ruckus, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. Can you guys say hello? Hello. Today we got a really cool treat. Uh, We're going to open some Pokemon cards. Ready? I'm going to make it rain Pokemon cards. Are you ready? Alright, everybody pick one. Okay, you got one? Skittles. Skittles. Alright, Zion's opening his cards. Let's see what's in there. This guy is Cloyster. Cloyster. Oh my gosh! What a break! You got a what? Zion, I have got no idea break. what you guys are talking about. Can you guys help tell them what you Oh, got? Mommy X! Man, it's a scratchy <laughs> card. Man, you guys you are got your first, you got these. this first DX. Whoa, I have no idea what that means, it's but that's exciting. Man, you got your first DX. You <laughs> Diego's gonna open his now. A first DX. Right, What'd you get? Oh, I didn't get an DX. No? I got a break. Diego, you, know, you got the same guy as me. Hey, except... what's your favorite thing about these cards? I'm trading. Trading. Yeah, trading. All right. Where's the card you guys got really excited about? Um, I got a break, Green Ninja. Here's the break. And let's move on to this guy, Frogador. Frogador. What color is that? Blue. Click it on. And of course, again, the Green Ninja. Man, break. you really like that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a card. Flowers. What colors are on that card? It's green. Green? Which one's your favorite one from those, Kingston? Mm, all of them. All of them? Okay. And I got a guard chomp, ducklet, a trainer potion, palpitone. And then I got Durant. It looks like it's tired or old. Then I got a trainer, Bursting Balloon. Trainers can sometimes help you with your cards. How do they help you with your cards? They can help your cards like get stronger because they're trainers. Oh, nice. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, I'm Jesse, and these are my boys, the Ruckus, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. So they're having a little superhero showdown playing football, but it seems like Captain America and Spider-Man are keeping the ball away from little Iron Man. So I think Dad needs to come into the picture and help him out. Come on, let's get it.
Do you think it's something heavy or light? I think something heavy and something light. Mm -hmm. Can we open now? Hi, I'm Sarah, and these are my kids, Rachel and Benjamin. And we're going to do something really fun today. We, guess what we're going to do, guys? What? We are going to have a scavenger hunt, and we're going to hunt for surprise eggs. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Chocolate. He got the white chocolate. Oh. Are they yummy? Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite surprise? I like the princess. This one. <gasps> you liked your purple bug. And what was the one that you liked the least? Rock. Rocks. <laughs> Benjamin, were you surprised when you opened this egg? Yes. To find leaves? Yeah. Did you have fun going on our scavenger mm -hmm. hunt? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mom, don't throw this stuff away. Yeah, we can we can throw them outside. Yeah. We can throw them back outside. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you had a lot of fun watching us open our surprise eggs. And we hope to see you next time on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Hey, Mother Goose Club. I'm Jesse. Today I'm here with the ruckus, my boys, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. Today I'm pretending to be a big bad wolf. 
and they're pretending to be three little pigs. So guess what story we're doing? That's right, the three little pigs. So let's get to it. Little piggy, let me in. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house Come here, piggy. <laughs> ah. Little piggies, let me in. Stop, 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 my chinny chin chin. Or I'll puff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your eyes out. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not a chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow it. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys had a ton of fun with us today. See you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Sarah, and we're going to have some fun on our play set today. So come with us. Hey folks, I'm Jesse, and these are my boys, the Ruckus, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. Today we're gonna have a little Nerf fun out here, a little Santoyo boy superhero showdown. But before we do this, some rules. What do we not do? Do no. not shoot into the face. Do not and, shoot into the face. And no shooting in the eye. No shooting in the eye. And always point your gun down. Always remember that. Yeah, to be safe. We ready? Three, two, one, go!
Boom! <laughs> Woo, workout. Hi, Mother Goose Club. I'm Ariana. I'm Darby. And I'm Abby. And we are going to be doing an experiment with Mentos and soda. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to place a mint in this tube, and then we're going to release this, and it's going to explode. Safety first. <laughs> OK. All right, you release it. Oh, oh yeah, wait, wait. On this. Oh. OK. So science. Right, okay. Ready, you want to pull the trigger? Okay. Okay, okay ready? Yeah, set. Go. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. That one's way higher than Whoa, I thought yeah, it was. I know. Oh my goodness. I'm okay, I did not expect table. that. Wow. We'll just put the rest of these in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with this. Maybe it only works I with I don't know. But I feel like it would work with anything. Because, well, I don't See. know. It might be something like special ingredient coat that reacts with the yeah. Mentos. Okay, bubbling. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Yay! We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now, what we wanna do is we're gonna put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin, that way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Lou. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good, but it's like I... Oh, I don't like it! <laughs> you guys give it a try, that's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're gonna talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned put that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right, so are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right, so away you go. Now, what are you? What would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, oh, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that a pizza. what you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm gonna put a little avocado here. So you're gonna go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you gonna go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just wanna like eat it. Ah, wow. uh, it won't <laughs> be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado. I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm gonna put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say, la pizza? La, la pizza. pizza. In the oven. In the <laughs> oven. <laughs> you always wanna be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right, and we wait. Oh goodness, this is Lucas's pizza. We're gonna put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. <laughs> Do these so not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's gonna be really good. All right. And you're excited to try yours? So good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. How about yours? <laughs> oh, it's a little hot. So, no, it's a little hot. All right. So we have a few <laughs> final words for you. <gasps> bon appetit. We'll see you next time, mother. See you next time. Bye, <laughs> Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? I'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A uh, fruit? It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's kind hot. spicy. Oh, it's hot to oh, you. A little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? Oh, really salty. Really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> Kinda tastes like the aquarium smells. Hi, Mother Goose Club. My name is Adam, and I am the host of the Playhouse Challenge. Today, Gianna, Darby, and I will be doing 
and experiment. We're going to mix different colors of paint together. And try to figure out which new color we'll make. Yes, we have red paint, yellow paint, white paint, blue paint, green paint, and black paint. Let's get mixing! All right, what color do you think we will make when we mix red and blue? I think it's going to make brown. Mm, I think it's going to make <gasps> purple. Let's mix them together and find out. It's purple. You get a point, Darby. Yay! Good job. Next up, let's see what color we make when we mix green and blue. Definitely green. Mm, definitely blue. All righty, let's find out. Bluish green? Greenish blue? You both get a point this round. Yes! Good job. Our next mixture is black and white. What color do you think we will make when we mix these two colors? Uh, I think we'll make gray. Yeah, I think we'll make gray too. Well, let's find out. A little white, a little black. Oh, it's gray. You both get a point. Yay! Yay! So excited. Nicely done. All right, our next mixture is yellow and blue. What color do you think we will make when we mix yellow and blue? I think we'll make orange. I think we'll make green. Well, let's find out. It's green. Good job, Darby. Thank job. you. You Yay. get a point. Sorry, Gianna, no points for you. All right, for our next and last mixture, we'll see what color we make when we mix red and green. Hmm, I think we'll make brown. Mm, I think we'll make <gasps> pink. Well, let's find out. Some red, some green, It is brown. Yay! You get a point, Gianna. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. All right, let's see who guessed correctly the most times. Darby, you have four points. And Gianna, you have three points. That means Darby is our grand prize winner. Yay! And you receive a big box of colored crayons. <laughs> Good job, Darby. Thank you. Tune in next time for the next Mother Goose Club Playhouse Challenge. Bye-bye! Hi, Mother Goose Club. I'm Abby. I'm Ariana. I'm Darby. And today, we're gonna be making a lava lamp. All you really need is a two liter bottle, some vegetable oil, a funnel to pour in the vegetable oil, as well as some water and food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet, or if you don't have that, you can just use salt. The first thing we're gonna do is add oil, water, and food coloring and we're gonna fill the bottle three-fourths of the way full with vegetable oil and then just top it off with water. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Yeah, I love lava lamps. I think they're so cool. Three-quarters of the way. So it's oh, more than half. Okay. okay, and then we're just gonna top it off with water. So we're gonna add about 10 drops of food coloring or until it appears fairly dark. I'm gonna do this green. So I'm gonna do pink. I love pink. Hmm. Ah, here's the yellow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's <gasps> really cool, Darby. Whoa. Should I add a little bit more? Let's see, does it come out fast? Let's start with this and see what happens. That's cool. I think I'm gonna add um, a little bit of blue. 
We're gonna want an Alka-Seltzer tablet or salt. And if you're using a salt shaker, just sprinkle it in for about five seconds. Oh, whoa, look at this purple. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that. I hope I'm breaking it up enough. This is like a really dark purple, or like a dark blue. Oh, but it looks yes, look so at this. cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> whoa. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so I might have added these are really cool. too much blue. Yeah. This would be fun for a spend the night party. Yeah, yeah. that would be really fun for, for a good activity to do with friends. I really liked it, it's so cool. I know, I'm gonna put a few more Dr. Yellow, it's still really dark. Nice. Well, yours looks really cool. That's cool, it's like a it, galaxy. It is, it is like I still have some on the bottom, some food color oh, on yeah, the bottom. Oh yeah, you do. <gasps> Whoa, okay, look at the pink. Oh, cool. That is really cool. It's yeah, just I so like pretty. It. Whoa, that looks so cool. <laughs> do you think I should add more, or do you think it's good? Um, It's a little dark. I don't know, it is dark. But under a flashlight, it might look different. <gasps> oh, yeah. We are going to be adding glitter. And then we're going to add another Alka Seltzer mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Because we really liked it when it started to. Um, should I shake it up and then put the um, tablet in? Or... Yeah, I'm going to do that so it's like. Oh, so it's really sticks to you. First. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hey, art is messy. Fingers. <gasps> I like it. Oh, it looks good. It makes it really shine. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, now it's getting really dull. Whoa, okay. yours got so dark. Yours is like a galaxy lava lamp. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add another uh, Alka <laughs> Seltzer. Okay, okay, are we gonna put the- Love it. Okay, I'm putting it in right now. Seltzer number two. It's not... Oh, there it goes. <gasps> there it goes. That's so cool. I'm gonna try it with the Oh, yeah. It's pretty. I love it. Oh, cool. I think ours are pretty much done. Yeah. And all we have to do is put a flashlight under it. Ooh, see what happens. It's fun. Yeah. It's easy too. Yeah. Okay. I want to make more. I know. I love oh, this. Just, I love this. I think uh -huh. for for the next time, if you just add a couple drops of Here, one color, color, I think it'll yeah. be really cool. I'm gonna try it. Cool. They look so awesome. Yeah, these are all great. I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So, that's how you make a lava lamp at home. You should totally try this. We had so much fun. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Bye. Attention, unsafe handling of borax may cause injury. Always ask an adult for help with science experiments and always wear protective gear. Hello friends, my name is Janet and here we are on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. <laughs> I am joined by my good friends and neighbors, Gianna and Ethan. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Hi. Now today, we're going to play Scientist. <laughs> yeah. All right, so whenever we play Scientist, I actually love for us to put on our lab coats. Now. We are also going to put on our safety goggles. So I have some safety goggles for you there. Every good scientist knows that you need to have your PPE, which is personal protective equipment. We wanna make sure if whatever we're making doesn't splash into our eyes. Now, another thing that we want to do before we make our Slime! Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's I can't right. Wait. We are going to make slime today, but again, every good scientist knows one must prepare if we're going to do the scientific method. So, preparation means that we need to start by putting something on our table. So, if you can just use this plastic tablecloth and yeah, let's get it all covered. So, water, check. Borax, check. Glue, check, measuring cups, and now our mixing bowl. All right, so, Yay. so here's one of the first things. Who would like to be the first person to measure out a half a cup of glue? Oh, you're great at measuring. Do you ever bake anything else? I've baked cookies before. I like snickerdoodles. Oh, I've so made cookies with my cousin. You have? And so you got to measure out the ingredients when you make cookies, right? Do not ever make a cookie with glue. I'm just saying. So now, 
here's what I'm gonna have you do. Will you, with this spoon, kindly put the, the glue into our bowl, yeah? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stir in about a half a cup of water, all right? So let's, uh, let's just put about a half a cup of water in there, just like that. Now, I need you to add the water to the glue, all right? While you're doing that, Let's think about adding some food coloring. Yay. Unfurl this, my dear, and add your food coloring there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's a nice green color. Look at this. While you're doing great on this, Gianna and I are going to complete another step. So I want you to add one cup of water into this bowl. All right, so again, we're making slime. We've got our glue and our water and our food coloring over here. We've got our one cup. Now I want you to add one teaspoon of borax. Just one teaspoon. You want me to pour that for you? Yes, please. All right. Now start stirring that for me. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little milky. All right, so now, are we ready to really make some slime is what yes. I have to ask. So now, yes. here is the next step. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to slowly stir the glue mixture into this mixture. So can you move your bowl over here? Let's concentrate on the slowly part. So let's get the, that out of there as we can. Oh yeah, we don't want to lose out on any of this slime. Would you look at wow. there? Ooh, all right. So you know what? You know the best way to, to, to test our slime? Oh. We reach in. We reach in. Come on, come on, scientist, you little mad scientist. You, yes, go, go. Oh, this is awesome! Wow! Whoa! This is We're, awesome. Wow! You guys did good. Whoa. I can't believe. Whoa! How did whoa. you do that, Ethan? Whoa! That's like an alien face in there. Whoa! All right, can I shake your hand? <laughs> wow, wow. There's all kinds of things you can do with slime here. So, did everybody have fun being a scientist today? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I want you guys, what would you tell your friends out there about trying the slime? Uh, they should definitely try, try it, it because it's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into Mother Goose Playhouse today. We've had a blast making slime. Go be awesome and be a great scientist. Have fun sliming! <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse.